everyone. Today I am going into the wonderful wacky world of laying out books. I apologize if I sound really tired. We did a five hour stream t today, today as I'm recording, yesterday as of posting. Um, so yeah, we did a five hour live stream, which is super fun, but my voice is very tired and drinking tea can only do so much. I'm tired, but like a good tired, like I had a really fun day. Anyways, so Bones and I, for our Kickstarter for the Scourge of Nine Point that we did last year, we had a stretch goal that was met, and that stretch goal was to create the guide to Nine Point. It's a little companion ebook for our comic, The Scourge of Nine Point, and yeah, we're going to be giving it out to our, our Kickstarter supporters. Um... And yeah, so we decided to lay it out, because we've been meaning to work on it for a long time, and we're finally getting some time now. So Bones has written it all out, we've got our lovely manuscript ready, and it goes over, like, all the different animal races, because it's a furry comic, so it goes over all the different animal races, and it goes over how, like, the magic system works, and it's all written, like in universe so like it's like a guide that would be given to little little cat knights before they they go off to journey and become little cuties <laughs> um yeah so bones is the manuscript written um and today we were laying out all the pages and what they look like i hope this is interesting i know when i was first getting into comics and like creating books this kind of thing would have like fascinated me because i was like i used to love picking up books of all kinds like one of my favorite things to do ever is to just like hang out in a bookstore and look through different book layouts and check out different fonts and um look at illustrations i love illustrated books for obvious reasons because i love illustration and like they're super pretty so like anytime i could find a really gorgeous book i was like yes give me <laughs> um so then like growing up wanting to get into comics and to get into writing I was always really fascinated by how people do this stuff, um, and I still am. I find it really rewarding to do page layouts. Like, I love it when I'm at work and they're like, make an ebook for us, and I'm like, yes, I will do this, and I get to format it and mess around with, like, font choices and page layouts, and it's the best. I love it. It's really fun. <laughs> um, I don't know if it will make good video content. I hope it will. Um, because, honestly, through this whole work session, it was a lot of me and Bones just sitting around and, like, discussing what we want each page to look like. Which is great, because it was super important to be like, okay, how much information are we going to fit on each page? Because it was just, like, written out. We didn't have it chopped up into pages like a comic script is. We had it more written out like a, like a book manuscript. Um, and we were like, we need to figure out how to make sure that we have all the right information on it on every page and we have a consistent look for everything, and yeah, and, you know, what will make good spreads. <laughs> we also went and grabbed a bunch of, like, reference books, because we were, like, um, because, like, we've, we haven't done this much before. This is, like, our first, like, real step into formatting, um, like, an illustrated book. Um, fun fact, we did actually look into maybe doing, like, light novels in the past, which are, like, um, shorter novella-type things that are illustrated. They're really common in Japan. And we were like, that sounds really fun to do, like, an illustrated novel, because, like, Bones writes novels, and I love that kind of stuff. And like I said, growing up, I was all about, like, illustrated books. So, yeah, we were like, let's look into this. And then we never did anything with it because we weren't sure if there was a market for it. And we were like, will this be more work than it's worth anyways? But yeah, so um, we grabbed a bunch of reference books so that we were like, okay, so this is what like an informational book looks like. So we looked at like a cat book full of like breed information. And we looked at um, a book about fairies and folklore that was really pretty illustrated. Um, and then some some random books that we have on our shelf from from Bones's dad, and yeah, it's it's really important to grab your references when you don't know what you're doing. It's also good when you do know what you're doing. But anyways, um, yeah, because we were like we haven't really done this before. What do we do? How do they format their pages? 
It honestly felt a lot like thumbnailing comic pages, which makes sense because it's like similar concept. You're just laying out the information at like it's really base level of like what will this layout look like? Like, yeah, <laughs> all laid out. How will it look? Um, but yeah, it definitely felt a lot like thumbnailing comic pages. It was a lot of just talking and thinking. Um, I have wanted to do, like, more videos about laying out thumbnails because I know that's, like, probably a part of comics that doesn't get talked about much. At least I've found very few resources on it on YouTube. But I know that, like, working on thumbnails isn't very, like, visually spectacular because it's a lot of just sitting there and thinking and being like, okay, what are some different ways that I can show, like, this on the page and then scribbling some things and then, um... Yeah, so it's, you know what, I probably shouldn't even worry because that would be interesting to someone who wants to learn how to do thumbnails. Um, I guess there isn't really a wrong way to do thumbnails either. It's really just like whatever you need to get to the final product, I guess. Ooh, ooh. I have done a video about thumbnails where I actually work on thumbnails. I don't know what I'm talking about. Go watch that video, I guess. Oh, man. I'm sleepy. Today was, like, long but fun. Just a good day. Um, I had a lot of fun at the stream we did. Um, we've been on and off streaming. We used to stream a lot more. Well, we, we usually do it in, like, really erratic patterns where we'll spend, like, maybe a month where we stream, like, every week. Um, for a little while, Bones was doing, like, video game streaming on Twitch, where he was playing, like, a bunch of Pokemon games. And, like, we've done art streams in the past on and off. And, like, I remember we used to do it on live stream? Was there a... Yeah, there was that website that was just, like, called live stream? Was that... Was that a website? Or am I making that up? Oh my god. <laughs> My brain is melting. <laughs> Anyways, we used to go on there and do art live streams to, like, our Tumblr followers back in the day when we were first doing, starting our comics. And now, anyways, <laughs> we, we really like streaming and we've always wanted to do it regularly, but it's like, we didn't have an excuse before, I guess, or like, things would always come up and get in the way, or like, we used to be really secretive about showing off our comic work as if anyone cares if they're getting spoilers back when, like, not very many people were reading our stuff. Anyways, we were really weird about hiding it. So now that we have YouTube and it's been a little strenuous for me to create, like, three videos a week on top of, like, working on Magpie and Kickstarter stuff and regular work stuff. You know me, I like to pile all the things on my plate. Anyways, it, it was it was hard to keep up with all that. Um, so we were like, we want to do live streaming. Why don't we just do live streaming instead of three Ursula videos? And that sounds like a fun Saturday afternoon. So we're going to do that more. Like, it's really fun to talk to you guys. And it's a great way for us to, like, actually speak with you and interact with you. Um, cause I know sometimes we fall behind on like, sometimes we, we don't answer all of our comments and it's really nice to just like speak directly to people. Um, and it's really fun. Every time I've done a live stream, I've always had fun. So I'm really excited to do them more often. If you recall, if you've watched my hundred days of making comics challenge, I started out being like, I'm a weirdo. I don't like talking to people online. I'm much better in person. Well, that's great, because that's what the live stream can do for me. <laughs> It'll be very, like, I can talk to you guys in person, kind of. Like, I'll, I'll get to, to talk, because I'm better at that than speaking with people over text. I'm such a weirdo. Why am I like this? Ooh, ooh. Thank you to anyone who came out to the live stream. It was really fun. How many times am I going to say that? A million times because it was so much fun and I can't wait to do it again it won't be as long um, it'll probably just be like an hour or so yeah five hours was a lot it was really rewarding and I got a lot of work done that's also the nice thing about live streams is I tend to get a ton of work done because I have people like watching me I can't just like flip to Twitter or leave <laughs> and avoid my work uh, so I get a lot of work done 
And yeah, but in the future, they'll probably be shorter just because of time constraints and and we might not be able to do it every Saturday, but every Saturday that we that we don't do it, we'll just put up a video. So yeah, there's always going to be cool content. Yeah, I really hope that these visuals are <laughs> semi-interesting because it's a lot of just like, here's a line that represents a piece of text and here's a circle that represents put a picture here. <laughs> um, I don't know if they make any sense outside of like me and Bones talking. I also realize that... It looks weird because we're wearing shirts that are the same color. <laughs> so every time you see a hand come in from the side, that's bones, and the hand with the pencil is me. It's not it's not the same person, even though we're both wearing purple sweatshirts. <laughs> oh my god. We have matching sweaters because of our Kickstarter. So like when we've done Kickstarters, we've gotten merch made and then like we make like an extra for ourselves. And now, because it's really exciting to have, like, merch with your stuff on it, Bones and I wear it a lot. So most of the time, we're wearing the same sweater, and I'm like, Bones, people are gonna think we're on a team. And then he's like, but we are on a team. And I have nothing to say to it, but I'm still embarrassed that we're dressed in the same clothes. I don't know what to do about it. I don't want to be that couple that dresses the same, even though it's adorable when other people do it. I'm just convinced it's weird when I do it. I don't know. <laughs> Could I be anxious? Yes. But yeah, so Bones and I are matchy-matchy. Because, like, we talked about on the stream how we're going to get married, and we've got, like, matching marriage sweaters... We've got these, like, sweaters that have giant cat faces on them, and we also got a shirt for him that says hubby and one for me that says wife, and we're gonna wear them and be adorable, and I'm like, that's really cute, but when we have merch sweaters, I'm like, change. <laughs> we can't wear the same thing. I don't know. I'm a weirdo. Maybe once we're married, I'll be more okay with us ma matching clothing. Maybe. Who knows? So I was surprised by how how many pages this book is going to be. Because, like, it's a really quick read. Because it's very, like, you know, sections are cut up into, like, little chunks and, like, call-out boxes. It's not just, like, pages and pages of text. It's a lot of just, like, short little paragraphs and, like, it's broken up really... Re it's broken up a lot into different, like, chapters and subsections and stuff so it's very easy to read through but it's like oh man there's a lot of species that get mentioned in here because <laughs> it's like all the wild animals that are around plus all the cat information like i think just the 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 wildlanders as they're called which is all like the species of animals there's like 70 species that get covered in the book that's not including the cats and the different, like, designations of, like, cat knights and magic power types. <laughs> but there were, like, 70. 70! That's so many! And that we got- I think- I think we condensed it to 40 pages of just the Wildlanders. That's so many! This book is gonna be so long! It's longer than our first issue of Nine Points. I'll be honest, I don't know if we're gonna print it ever. We- maybe in the future? Um, that would be really cool, but for now it'll just be a cute little ebook, so I guess the length doesn't matter so much. I'd highly recommend doing layouts like this when you're planning out books. Maybe not if you're doing, like, a novel or something where it's just, like, text laid out. Like, definitely do, like, a master version where it's like, okay, this is where, like, the page number goes or the header goes. Like, very general, like, this is what, like, the type stuff is. Um... I don't know, if you're ever setting up an ebook or something in InDesign, set all that stuff up all nice. But if you're ever, like, laying out um, an illustrated book or your comic, definitely your comic, it's really great to just sit down and sketch out your ideas and plan it all out. So then you can kind of get an overview of everything. Um, so that you know what's going on. It was also great for Bones and I to get, like, aligned on what we want to do. Because sometimes he'll have an idea for something, and I'll have an idea for something, and they'll be totally different. And in fact, that happened a bunch when we were planning this out. Like, um, he was saying, like, so we had all the different, um, cat points. 
So in nine point, um, different fur colors dictate different powers. Um, and if you ever look up a pointed cat, um, you've probably seen them. A lot of people call them like Siamese cats, even though they're not all Siamese cats. But it's when they have like the dark fur on their nose and it kind of gradients out to like a lighter color. And they'll usually have like the gradient on their nose, their ears, their paws, and their tail. Um, um, if you think of a Siamese, you're probably picturing a pointed cat. Anyways, so all the different points in nine point have different powers because they're different colors. Um, and so for each page that was like, okay, here's the seal point, here's the flame point, here's the blue point. Um, we had to write out the powers and illustrate like how the powers work and the history of the different points. And I was looking at them and I was like, okay, how about we have an illustration of the cat with their point so that people know like what this all means, because I'm sure there's people reading who probably don't know about, like, cat points or what they look like or what we're referring to. Um, and I think it would be interesting to show them. And Bones is like, sure, that's, like, good to let readers know about, but I don't know if that makes context in the world that this was written in, because, you know, the cats would know what the different points look like. And also, we can condense room if we just put the... the... If we just illustrate the history part with the correct colors and points, people will probably be able to get like, okay, so this is the seal points. This is what they look like. So I was like, okay, good point, you. <laughs> so it's great to just like check in with your partner to see what the heck you're both thinking uh, so that you can make the best book layout possible. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it funny how communication helps with collaboration? Ugh, I'm so tired. I need to go to bed. <laughs> um, hmm. Anything else I want to talk about? I feel like I talked out all of my topics on the stream. I'm like, I don't need to tell people things. I talked for five hours. I've never talked for five hours before, but that's a lie. Because previously we've done an eight hour live stream, which was very intense. <laughs> I was so tired after. But what, during it, the funny thing about doing live streams is, like, during them, I'm like, oh, it's just been an hour, and then it's, like, four hours later, and I, I'm like, oh my god, how, how has the day gone by? Cause it's just because they're so fun, and, like, yeah, because I'm absorbed in doing art, which really, like, messes with my, my, my time experience, and talking to people and having fun, which also, like, makes time fly. So, yeah, I'm all tuckered out now. I mean, one... Just talking and drawing for a long time is very, like, exhausting. But I'm also an introvert, and socializing makes me sleepy. Okay, I know that, like, <laughs> introverts and extroverts aren't actually, like, physically drained when they, they get their social time in or not, but that is how I feel. It's like in The Sims, where they've got the little, like, green bars of all the things they need. My energy bar is, like in the red. <laughs> I'm like, my battery is dying. I sleep. I'll go bye. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was entertaining. I'm weird and I really like laying out books. I find it really relaxing. Um, cause like, illustration and graphic design are very different. Where like, Graphic design is great because you, pre you pretty much have all your elements, like, already built. So if it's, like, photography and some colors and some text, it's like, I have all my elements. They're basically pre-made. I just got to fit them together and make them look pretty. Whereas, like, when you're doing an illustration, it's very, like, I have to make all of these things out of thin air and make sure they're perfect and polished. So, like, doing graphic design is a lot more relaxing. Not relaxing, but it's, like takes up less brain power, and I do find it oddly soothing. Um, so yeah, I like laying out books. Do you guys like laying out books? Do you guys have any good resources on books? Books? Yes. If you do, please send them to me. I would love to see them. Um, maybe get some more ideas about how to make this book super pretty. We're kind of basing the illustrations off, like, medieval illustrations, uh, for books, mixed with, like, I don't know, just like a general art book kind of vibe. And like, we're illustrating magical powers and history 
And it's also mixed kind of like with an encyclopedia because it's like, this is what this animal species is like. So yeah. Anyways, give me your resources on cool books about making books. <laughs> they don't have to be books. They could be videos or your own experience. I just want to know. Share the love and the knowledge. Yeah. Okay. I should go to bed. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and listening. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos about webcomics and illustration. And yeah, thank you for being a cool little kitten. Um, go, go become a knight and make your kingdom proud. Okay, goodbye.